Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and uh, today we're looking at these Yeelight Bluetooth downlights. I didn't think I would review these, but since I've just uh, found out what they can do, I think they can be a pretty big game changer, and you might be excited to hear what they can actually do. So, let's go! So, here I've got the Yeelight downlights. In the box you'll find the light itself, and a small instruction booklet, and that's it! I've also installed a few Philips lights from Xiaomi as well, and you can see there is a small difference in the way you need to wire them, but it's a minor difference though. In size they're actually the same, and the biggest difference is that the Philips lights connect over Wi-Fi, and the Yee lights connect over Bluetooth? The Yee light downlight has a diameter of 10 cm, and it needs a ceiling hole of around 7 to 8 cm. It uses 4 watts and has a light intensity of 300 lumens that can be dimmed from 5 to 100%, and it's got a light color range of 2700K to 6500K, which is a range from warm orange white to cold and blue light. I've also installed these Yee light mesh lights, E27 bulbs in a chandelier type of light above my coffee table. These lights have pretty much the same specs. One thing you gotta know is that you will need to have a Bluetooth gateway for these lights to work with the app. Xiaomi Media compatible Bluetooth hubs are actually integrated in many devices now, and I personally have them in uh, a lot of things ranging from the Yeelight smart speaker, the bedside lamps, the Xiaomi air conditioner, and also in the new Xiaomi smart home gateway that I've just recently reviewed here on the channel. So there are enough points around my house for these Bluetooth lights to connect to. The installation is uh, fairly simple, but you might want to get an electrician to install them if you're not comfortable with it. Once you've connected them, they can be mounted into your ceiling and powered on to install them through the Xiaomi app and or the Yeelight app. As they are Bluetooth devices, it will pretty much automatically detect them. You can actually install all of them at the same time, which is quite convenient though. Next, you could add a light group in the app to group the lights so that you can dim and change the color of all of these lights at once. From the app you can do the usual stuff, I can set the brightness by swiping up and down, I can set the U by swiping from left to right, and I can set timers for the lights to turn on and off, and I can set up smart home automation rules so that the lights will automatically turn on. For example, when this motion sensor detects motion, or this door sensor detects that the door opens. So far it's pretty straightforward. We've seen all of this with uh, many of the other lights that I've reviewed here on the channel, although the main difference here is that these lights connect over Bluetooth and not over Wi-Fi or Zigbee. But there's a lot more to it, and that's these light switches that support Yeelight's new Slissa On concept. This means a smart light is always on, which is one of the biggest downsides with smart lights, making them kinda dumb. See, with most smart lights you will need to keep the power switch turned on, or else they're displayed as being offline in the app as soon as you turn the light off using the switch, and the smart home automation rules will no longer work. So these mesh lights use this new Slissa on concept, meaning that if you use them with these special Yeelight or Xiaomi flex switches, you can actually use the light switches to turn the lights on and off, but the lights will not be offline. And that is a huge game changer. So both Xiaomi and Yeelight have three of these flex light switches in store now, with either one, two or three buttons depending on your needs. And here I've got some of these Xiaomi light switches. In the box of these you will find the light switch, two screws to mount them and an instruction manual. In order for these light switches to work, you'll need to turn the screw on the inside below the button 90 degrees to set them to work with these types of lights, so that the switch will bounce back instead of working like a regular light switch. You can actually find these screws on each of the individual switches, so you could combine them with lights that you do want powered off. So these are quite flexible, these flex light switches. To install these you will most likely want to have an electrician around, but I actually already installed three of them in my new apartment myself, and it was not as difficult as I thought it would be. I just uh, turned off the main switch, got rid of the old switch, and replaced it with this so-called flex switch. Once it's connected, I turned on the main switch to see if it was working correctly. Once it was, I turned it off and mounted it to the wall, and we're good to go. For the next step, you'll need to go to the connected light in the app, then go to the light settings to say that they need to work with a flex switch. Just enable that, and you should be good to go. If I now use the app, you will notice that they are still online, and they will still function with any timers or smart home automation rules that you've set up in the app. And this is great stuff. 
One thing to really keep in mind though, is that these Chinese light switches use a square backside. And in Europe, you might actually have round boxes in your apartment. So you definitely want to check out if it will work in your apartment. So now here above the coffee table, I have five of these E27 bulbs. And in the ceiling, I've got these down lights. I've got all three of these groups wired to this supported light switch. And I can simply just use this switch without the lights going offline. Yi Lights has several mesh lights supporting this always on concept. They've got two different types of down lights and two different types of light bulbs with the E27 and E13 mount. Also, they've released a 1S version of their light bulbs, as well as most of their ceiling lights, which I might review in the future as well. These Yi Light mesh lights came out in China in the Xiaomi Yobin store and the Yi Light T wall page for 65 RMB for the down light, 89 RMB for the adjustable spotlight, 55 RMB for the E27 bulb, and 65 RMB for the E14 bulb. That's a range of about 8 to 13 US dollars or 7 to 12 euros. The Yi Light switches are in store for 40, 50, and 60 RMB, and the Xiaomi Light switches are only 20, 30, and 40 RMB for the 1, 2, and 3 three switch models respectively. I've put down some links to where you can find these lights online in the description below this video if you want to pick them up through the international resellers. So what are my thoughts and what do I think that could be improved? Well, first and foremost, I was a bit skeptical about these Bluetooth lights, but they work really well and they're really easy to set up. It's great to see they still work with automation rules and timers, pretty much all the stuff you'd expect with a Wi-Fi light, so that is very convenient. The light switches are a bit of a hassle to install, but once you have them installed, they are very cool to have and they make these lights so much smarter. One thing I did notice is that when you create a light group, the automation rules only allow you to turn the light on or off, but not set the brightness or the U anymore. However, when you use the single light bulb in the automation rules, it is possible to change the U and brightness. Other than that, I am very excited about these new mesh lights, and I really think that this smart light is always on concept is truly a game changer, making the Yeelight smart lights a lot smarter. So what do you guys think of these mesh lights and this always on concept? Are you as excited as I am? Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are and don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should because I'm doing a ton of videos about products from the Xiaomi ecosystem like Yi Light right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.